everybody. Welcome to another session of Create with Emily. I'm Emily and today we are going to watch some gummy bears grow. So I don't know if you've ever done something like this before, but it actually is pretty simple. So I'm going to show you how to go through the process and we are going to see if our gummy bears grow or they might shrink, but we're using a couple different materials. So to start off, I'm just going to show you what I have set up right here. That way, as we go through it, um, you know what you need. So it, you will need vinegar. I have a bottle of just white vinegar. You need some salt, some baking soda. Um, I grabbed some plastic spoons to stir. And then I just have um, four little bowls this size set right up here and I'll show you when I flip the camera around. These have water in them. So that's all there is in these and then I have my gummy bears. So the process that we're gonna go through is that we're gonna add, so I have my four bowls. Let me scoot them so you guys can see. I have my four bowls right here and I will flip you around here in a minute so you can see what is going on. But we are going to add different things to these bowls, the vinegar, the salt, the baking soda, and we are going to let a gummy bear soak in them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get that process started, and then we're gonna read a little book to go along with it while our gummy bears soak, and we'll see after that if they've grown at all, maybe if they've shrunk, maybe they feel different, but if you really wanna see how these gummy bears will react in these different solutions, then you should leave them overnight. So I will post my after pictures. I'm gonna let mine, I'll show you what they look like after at the end of our live. Um, but I will also leave these in here overnight and then sh take a before and after picture tomorrow. That way you guys can see if they grew or if they shrunk or what happened. So we are going to start off with normal water. So that's one bowl, and I'll flip you around here in a second and show you how I've kind of laid these out and kept them labeled. Um, that way we know what stuff, what solutions are in what stuff. Okay, or in what bowl, that didn't make sense. So we're going to do vinegar first, and I'm really not going by certain measurements. It's basically two parts water and one part vinegar. So it's really up to you how much you put in. So I just have this right here and I'm gonna add this over here to my vinegar and water. Does anybody else think vinegar just smells awful? So I just stirred that with one of my plastic spoons. I'm gonna leave that set over there. Next, we're gonna do salt. Make some salt water so you can see. I'm doing quite a bit of salt and some, not all of it will probably dissolve because this is like room temperature water but that's okay. So I'm mixing that with my spoon to see if we can get some of that salt to dissolve. Oh, I think it's working. We're about there. And if some of the salt settles overnight, that's okay. You don't have to worry about um, adding more, or stirring it. Okay. So I'm gonna put that over here to the side. And then we are going to do baking soda and water. So this is just typical baking soda. You'd use it to bake or some people use it to clean. Um, and we are going to add some of that to this bowl. And the weird thing about baking soda is that it will make your water cloudy. Oop, I just spilled a little bit. It will make your water cloudy, but it will never dissolve. It's the weirdest thing. So it makes it cloudy. The rest of my bowls are clear water. Okay, so I'm gonna move those over here. That way you guys can see. So we just have our normal water. We have salt water. We have our vinegar and water. And we also have, I'm gonna move that one down here. And we have our baking soda and water. Now, the next thing we need to do is get some gummy bears. So, like I said on my flyer, if you saw that, you need to pick out four different gu colors of gummy bears and you need two of each color. So, I'm just gonna set them right here. 
So I'm gonna do two yellow. There's a green, I'm gonna have to find another green. A red and orange. I'm gonna do red, orange, yellow, and green as my colors. Need to find another green gummy. Okay, so I'm gonna set these right here and we can see what colors go with what. So I'm gonna take you guys and turn you around. That way you can see what I have set up. So right here I have my bowls labeled with little index cards and then I've set two gummy bears on each section, on each little label. Okay, so let's turn you around. Okay, so what we're gonna do is nothing fancy. I'm just plopping my gummy bears down into the solutions. So this is kind of a science session of Create with Emily. Normally we do, we're doing crafts or baking something, but today I thought this was kind of cool. So the reason these react is that gummy bears are basically made of almost all sugar and sugar will react with different liquids or different solutions in different ways. So that's why we did one with just water, one with salt water, vinegar and water, and baking soda and water. And the gummy bear might shrink, it might grow, it might like turn rough and bumpy or more smooth. So it really just depends. So that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna let these sit and we are going to read a story. So I decided since we are playing, not really playing, doing an experiment with gummy bears, we should read a book about bears. So we are reading The Berenstein Bears and Too Much Junk Food because I'd probably consider these junk food, although I do like them. That is another thing I want to mention. Do not eat the gummy bears that you have put into the solutions. You can eat the ones, see how many we have left over in the bag. You can eat those that are left in the bag, but do not eat the ones that you have put in the bowls because they have like all the baking soda and the vinegar in them. The water wouldn't hurt you, but the stuff that's mixed with it probably wouldn't make your stomach feel very good. So if you want to eat one of them, because I know it's very tempting, you need to eat the ones out of the bag and not the ones in the bowls. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so the Berenstein Bears and too much junk food. We'll have to keep our eyes out and see if there's any gummy bears in this book. Bear country, where the bear family lived in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road, was a happy place and a healthy place. There were lots of cozy nooks and comfortable trees for the bear country folk to live in. The weather was good most of the time, and best of all, there was plenty of good, healthy food. Worms and seeds for the birds, nuts and acorns for the squirrels, grass and dandelions for the rabbits, more than enough flies for the frogs, and plenty of good nourishing food for the bears. Honey, of course, but more important, lots of fruits, vegetables, milk, fish, and fowl. So there's bear country. The trouble was that certain bears, brother and sister bear, had gotten into the habit of eating not so healthy foods when watching TV. At the movies, at the mall, in fact, it began to seem to Mama Bear that any time was snack time. Do you guys like to eat lots of snacks? At first, she hadn't paid much attention, but then one day, when the cubs were raiding the pantry, Mama noticed something. The cubs were getting a little chubby. She took a closer look, just to be sure. We'll have to see if any of our gummy bears get a little chubby from the science. Yes, they were chubbier from the side. They were chubbier from the front and from the back. Well, there was no question about it. Brother and sister were going to have to stop eating all that junk food. Hopefully my battery doesn't die, you guys. Okay. But mama, they protested, we're growing bears and we need those snacks. Just like our bears, they're growing bears. You're growing all right, said mama. The trouble is you're growing from side to side as much as you are up and down. Sometimes cubs get into bad habits and you've gotten into the habit of eating altogether too many sweets and goodies. We're going to have to get back to healthy nourishing food. She gathered up all the goodies in one big load. Mama, cried Sister Bear, what are you doing? You're not going to throw them away, cried Brother. No, we're going to put them in the freezer and forget about them, she said, and there's no use arguing. 
There she is, taking all their goodies. That's right, agreed Papa, coming in from his shop. There's no use arguing with your mother when she's made up her mind. Then, looking into the refrigerator, he said, Oh, dear, we're out of Sweetsy Cola. Let's be sure to get some next time we're at the supermarket. Our Sweetsy Cola days are over, said Mama, as she pushed all the goodies into the freezer. Two packages fell to the floor. Say, shouted Papa, what are you doing with my sugar balls and choco chums? They're going into the freezer, and we're going to forget about them, cried Brother. We're going to eat healthy, nourishing food instead. Just a minute, said Papa, but as he leaned over to pick up his precious goodies, there was a loud rip. Papa's snacks, snack habits had caught up with him, too. He had split the seat of his overalls wide open. What sort of healthy, nourishing food, Papa asked Mama as she sewed up his overalls. Vegetables right out of our garden and, of course, and fruit from our orchard. And what are we supposed to drink, asked Papa. Try this, she said. It's called water. The next day, the Bear family went to the supermarket to buy some sensible food for the pantry. Mama pushed right past the sweets and goodies and stocked up on whole grain bread and cereal and fresh milk and cheese. Then she chose some fine-looking oranges and bananas, two fruits that didn't grow in her orchard. There they are, going to the supermarket. While she was waiting in the checkout line, someone said, I'm glad to see that cartload of nutritious food, Mama Bear. It was Dr. Grizzly, the Bear's family doctor. You must believe in good food for a healthy body. I certainly do, said Mama, but I'm not sure about the rest of my family. Dr. Grizzly took a look at Papa and the cubs. Hmm, she says, I see what you mean. They look like they could use a little professional advice. Stop by my office tomorrow, please. The cubs were nervous when they all arrived at the doctor's office the next day. Do you think she'll give us some sort of shot, they wanted to know? I don't think so, said Mama, but with Dr. Grizzly, you never knew. Step in here, please, said Dr. Grizzly. Oh, boy, movies, said the cubs when they saw a projector and screen. Not exactly, said the doctor as she turned off the lights. We're going to have a little slideshow. About what? asked the cubs. You'll see, she said, and started the show. This is what your body looks like from the outside. And this, she said, changing the slide, is what it looks like on the inside. Wow, said the cubs. Our bodies are a marvelous system of parts called organs, and it's these parts working together that let us do all the wonderful things we can do. Climb mountains, sing songs, hit home runs, ride bikes. It's a number of systems, really. A system of nerves that lets us feel and think. A system that keeps the blood flowing throughout the body. A system of muscles and bones that lets us move and gives us strength. And a system for food that lets us take in the nourishment that gives us energy and keeps all the other systems healthy. So there's all the body systems. The last slide showed different kinds of food and told how they helped the body. Papa looked for sugar balls and choco chums, but they were nowhere to be seen. Now, said Dr. Grizzly, turning on the lights, I'll do my best to keep you healthy if you'll promise to do your part by eating the right foods. We promise, said brother, but sister had a question. About sweets and goodies, what harm do they do? Most of them, answered the doctor, aren't very nourishing. Instead of helping build and strengthen our bodies, they just pile up as extra fat, like this. She took a pinch of Papa's waist and got quite a handful. Ouch, said Papa, and even worse, they fill you up so you're not hungry for the food your body really needs. And as the bears were leaving, just a minute, she added, uh-oh, a shot, thought the cubs, but that wasn't it at all. Exercise, called the doctor. An exercise program is important for good health, too, and it will work off those extra inches. Well, said brother, there's no time like right now. Let's jog home. And off went the cubs with Papa puffing behind. At first, it was a little strange eating just good, healthy food. For a while, they could almost taste the sugar balls and choco chums they weren't snacking on. But Mama was always ready with healthy goodies. 
apple slices for TV, nuts and raisins for the movies, frozen yogurt at the mall, and crisp, crunchy carrot sticks just about any time. That's a big change from what they used to eat. The Bears started a family program of jogging and exercise, so when the Bear Country three-mile run was announced, they were all slimmed down and ready. Though they didn't win, they didn't come in last either, not even Papa, and they won a prize for being the only family to finish the whole race. They were all excited and proud, especially Papa. I know what he said. Let's celebrate by opening up the freezer and... Have a carrot stick, interrupted brother, and some nuts and raisins, added sister. And Papa did. The end. Okay, so that was the end of our Berenstain Bears and Too Much Junk Food. And I just thought this book really went along with our little science experiment because we're seeing how much the bears grow and maybe they'll shrink. Not by exercise or eating healthy, but by the chemicals that are in these different things. So, I'm going to flip the camera around. I think the vinegar one is already starting to do something. We're not going to take them out of the solutions, but I will flip it around so you can kind of see, and I'll hold it up for comparison. Okay. So, let's see if we have grown or shrunk. So, this is our water one. I'm going to turn it so we can compare. I'm not sure if the water one has done anything yet. Not so sure. Here's our saltwater one, and this one might look just a tiny bit bigger, maybe by a little bit. And then we have our vinegar and water, and this one might have shrunk a little bit. And then we have baking soda and water. That one's got kind of bubbles all over it. Let me feel... They're kind of slippery and slimy, at least that one is. Let's see, the water one, the vinegar and water one is getting kind of hard. The water one, they're, so they're all pretty slippery and slimy, but that's kind of how I thought they would turn out. So we are gonna let these soak, oh, sorry. We are gonna let these soak overnight and see what happens. They could grow, they could shrink, um, they might be bumpy or smooth, we don't really know. But I will leave these soaking overnight. If you wanna do this project, it's super simple. You probably have all this stuff in your house, at least the baking soda, vinegar, and salt. I pulled mine right out of the cabinet. So you may have these in your kitchen and you just need water and then some gummy bears. And you really only use eight gummy bears unless multiple children are doing this or you um, have other solutions as well. You could do other stuff as well mixed with the water. Maybe add some sugar to the water and see if that's another possible solution that would maybe make the bears grow or shrink. So just remember that you should not eat the gummy bears that are in the bowls. Only eat the gummy bears that come out of the bag and that haven't soaked in anything. So here are, we're just gonna wait. I have all my little gummy bears right here, all my gummy bear friends, and we are gonna wait overnight and see if they grew. So I will post a picture tomorrow morning on the comments. Make sure you're looking out for that and be sure if you do this project, you show us your comparisons as well. We'd love to see them. Um, but yeah, that's it today for Create with Emily. If you have any questions at all or you've done these this experiment before, make sure you put it in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer those and we would love to see your experiments. There are lots of other activities going on today and throughout the rest of the week. So make sure if you like to Create with Emily that you join the other events. So I hope you all have a great Tuesday and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.